بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد سیف اللہ برام اس کی ایٹی اکیڈمی ڈاٹ کام ان دس ویڈیو وی ویل سٹارٹ لرننگ ہاو ٹو میک آ کمپلیٹ مارڈرن بیلڈنگ ان رویٹ آرکیٹیکچر سو فرسٹ وی ویل ہیو ٹو ڈو سم سیٹنگز وی آل ریڈی ڈسکسٹ لیولز ان پریویس ویڈیوز سو فرسٹ آئی ویل ٹرائی ٹو میک new levels so I will switch to one of the elevation view and here we have to select have to plan our levels so first I will rename my level 1 and I will name it first floor you can name it a ground floor or a first floor you want and my level 2 will be my second floor supply yes now I will draw another level I will create another level and its height will be I will give it a height of 18 feet 6 inches so apply it and we'll create another level and we'll give it a height of 20 feet 6 inches apply it and uh, we'll rename this one with uh, lower row uh, so we will have two uh, roofs one will be our lower roof and one will be our upper roof I'm impressed with the design of uh, cat gorilla so this is how I created first floor, second, lower root and upper root. Yes. And uh, I will draw another level below. And uh, it will be minus 2 feet it will be minus 2 feet and we'll rename it top of footing T O and footing this will be our top of footing so first I have created few levels now I'll switch to uh, site plan and uh, we'll draw some reference plans. So I will draw a reference plan here. First I will draw vertical and then horizontal. And uh, this distance will be 20 feet. Another one. this distance will be 8 feet this will be 15 feet and the last one will be 8 feet so these will be my vertical line now we'll draw a horizontal line again a reference plan draw a line and now we'll draw a line with offset of oh, three feet again this distance will be 11 feet so I will draw it 
again I will draw a reference plan distance will be 8 feet or 6 inches you can adjust it later 7 feet this distance will be 7 feet so I will adjust it 7 feet uh, draw these lines of as per your drawing plan and uh, you can adjust it when you want so these will be my reference uh, plans my reference line and I will draw in between these lines now I'll switch to first floor and we'll draw a wall so wall tool and you can select any type you want so I will select generic 12 inches you can edit it any time you want and uh, for the height the base constraint will be my first floor and the top constraint will be lower row means my height will be 18 feet 6 inches and I will select finish face exterior now you can draw walls like this be careful while uh, drawing your walls so that's how uh, you we created our, our uh, building walls you can see it in 3d this is how our building shape will be again switch to first floor and now delete one of this wall and uh, drag it this wall to this point now you can change our wall type for example I am doing it uh, masonry 12 inches now I change my wall type and you can see how it works again switch to first floor and uh, you can apply an option here we have an option wall joints so you can join walls I will click here and you can use bird or matter next what kind of type you want so you can apply a one like this again click here and press next so this is how you can you also can apply measure or square up if you want but I am happy with but so this is how uh, we join our walls you can see it in 3d how it looks like now we will do some editing here hover over your mouse here and now press tab click here and uh, change its top constraint from lower row to upper row I will apply so these walls be a little bit high than these three walls now you can switch to 3d and you will see this is how our building looks like again switch to first floor now remember one thing we must have to align our walls to these reference line for this I will select align tool select your reference plan first and then click on wall and then lock again
so what it will do it will lock your walls with these reference lines if you move your reference line the wall will automatically move with it uh, so it is already locked control Z and uh, this is how we locked our entire for example I'm moving it so you can see how it works control Z now uh, we will draw interior walls uh, for our building so I will select a wall type architectural and uh, this time our type will be uh, for example generic 5 or 6 inches we'll select generic 5 inches I am in the first floor and the base constraint will be first floor and the top constraint will be level to second floor so click here click here and click here now select a line tool align and this time our align will be center line click on the center of the wall and lock it now I'll switch to level 2 or second floor and uh, you can see what we have drawn in the first floor because of the underlay option in the properties palette so I will draw wall again and click here now uh, you can also draw a wall for a closet so this will be three feet and click here now you also can lock these walls so I'll go to modify align select reference line and then click on the center of the wall Control Z click here again so this is how it works you can switch to 3d view to see how our, how our building is looked like and uh, with the tab key uh, you can select and uh, select top constraint to the upper roof apply it so you will see the effect in the 3d so th that's it for this tutorial uh, we will see some more tools uh, in the next video so stay connected